Welcome to day six. Let's get you moving. I want you to take two hands at shoulder height. I want you to rotate a little bit to the, your left and a little bit to your right. Have your eyes follow your hands if they can. If that makes you dizzy, keep the eyes straight ahead and rotate underneath. So we're gonna take that move and we're gonna make it a diagonal. Tall torso, hands here, you're gonna go low to your right and high to your left. You can turn a little bit at the bottom, turn a little bit at the top, but you're thinking about staying over your hips. Nice, what we would call second or third gear speed. Not too fast, in control, not having to go super slow. But remember, you slow it down if it feels too aggressive or speed it up if it feels too easy. But we're just getting warmed up. Hands back to center. We go low to your left, high to your right. Sit in your hips. Think of keeping your torso upright. Only go as low as the knees are happy. Be heavy on the inside of your left foot. Push, come back home. Push, come back home. We're gonna do that pattern in a stride stance. So take your right foot forward, your left foot back. Heels on the floor. Widen your stance if you feel wobbly. Hands at center, you're gonna go low towards your front leg. Sit in the hips, stand and turn. Now when you go up high, try to get both that back heel down on the floor. You'll feel it turn that arch up on that back foot. Nice, easy opening. Now we're gonna stay on this foot for a few reps. One more of these. Pause, let's go the other way. Arms out front, you're gonna go low to the inside of that foot and up and around. That's a wobbly one for me. My computer's got us sort of get a few reps to register there. Sit down and in, up and around, eyes follow the hands if they can, but if that causes dizziness, eyes straight ahead. We got five seconds left. We'll switch feet and go back to the first diagonal. There we go. Your left foot, to give myself a little width on this one so I don't wobble as much. We're going low down to the inside. If that back heel has to come off the floor a little bit as you squat, that's perfectly legal. Nice and smooth. Get some blood flowing. Loosen up the tissue. We know there's three areas in your body that are critically important to keep you moving. Well, one more rep of these. Up. We're gonna go downhill towards the front leg up and around. They are your ankles, your hips, and your upper back. Notice the areas in between those smart regions, your knees and your low back, your neck, your shoulders, they tend to be where we ate the most. Last two reps. So everything we're doing in all of your movement series is to get the ankles, hips, and upper back mobile, fluid, and maybe a little stronger. We're gonna try that same diagonal, but we're gonna make it a big oval pattern. So it'll blend the two sides. Go back to first foot, hands here, go down to one side, up and across and over. Notice how my hips start to sway. That's what I want you to do. If you need to, you can spread the hands a little bit. Hopefully you're with me going downhill through the middle because now we're gonna put on the brakes and go uphill through the middle. It'll feel like you're playing tennis. Oh, I've never played much tennis in my life. Swing the torso, it sways through that infinity, so a sideways figure of eight. Three, two, one, quick switch. Get in there, let's go uphill through the middle first. If you got backwards and you're going downhill through the middle, that's okay. Just reverse it when we switch directions. But I want there to be a challenge to your feet, your hips. Might I feel it in my shoulders a little bit just from keeping my arms moving. Three, two, one, put on the brakes. Downhill through the middle. Let the hips sway. Hang in there, we're well beyond halfway. Close to the end of day six. Let the hips bump, a little bit of a dance move. Three, two, one. I want you to get somewhere where you have a little bit of support. 
It can be a desktop, it could be a wall. I'm gonna turn sideways and put my hand on the wall. My inside leg is the working leg. So if your hand's on the desktop, it's fine. Single leg balance. You're gonna sit, keep that foot off the floor, sit and reach forward, stand and come up tall. Reach forward, sit in that hip, reach that trail leg back and low. Keep them smooth. Use that hand support, it's not cheating. It's giving your body information. The higher you drive that knee up, the more tush work you're gonna get on the other side. I feel my foot fired up, three, two, one. So again, trying to integrate foot, hip, and upper back. Inside hands on the desk or the wall, on that foot, sit in the hip, stand and drive that knee. It's a fluid motion. You can use a little momentum. Whether it feels easy, you can swing the arm. It feels a little tougher, you can reach the arm in and out from your shoulder. Reach a little lower if you feel good. Four, three, two, one. Nice job. That's it for day six. Great work. I'm a little winded. I hope you are too. Most importantly, I hope you're awake. Feel invigorated for the rest of your day. We'll see you tomorrow.